Hello everyone, this is James from Red Cage. I'm just doing a couple of tips and tricks videos as well as some tutorial videos and thought that I would do one on freeform design. So freeform design is kind of a neat little tool that allows us to take a primitive shape and then through some organic manipulation we can create a very cool part. Um, so this is very different than, uh, let's say, a design that you do from a normal extrude or revolve. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to actually go and create a handle today, and it's going to have a little bit of a flare out at the side, as well as some finger grips. Now to do that, I'm going to create it with a cylinder, and I'm just going to go and place this in here. Uh, I'm going to set some values here just so that I have uh, this at, uh, at a, a normal size that you'd have for a handle. Okay, and I'm going to set the number of faces. And faces are fairly important for uh, for us because they allow us to go and do uh, more accurate manipulation of the design. Now there's a limit that we can do for the initial creation, which is 20. Um, but right now I've got it at 8 and 12, so we don't we won't have any issues there. Okay, so I'm going to accept that. Uh, I'm going to do my flare out. So I'm going to grab some some faces here that I'm going to go and flare out. Um, I'm going to go and, and use a tool called Edit Form. And edit form allows me to go and do some different translations here. I'm actually going to go and just set this to scale so that I'm only dealing with the scale for this part. Um, I'm going to go and uh, drag this uh, center ball, which allows me to go and scale everything globally. I'm just going to go and, and do that a little bit. Uh, you'll see that it disappears. So there's a reason why I kind of did it once, and then I go back and, and grab it a second time there. And this time, it stays on the screen, allowing me to go and type in the actual scale that I want. Okay. So the next thing that I want to take a look at with this one is that this is too wide on this side over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some faces here and I'm going to go and drag them over to kind of make this a little bit smaller so it's a little bit easier to work with. Okay. Uh, and it'd be more handle-like too. Okay. So I'm going to take this, uh, I'm going to grab that arrow, I'm just going to drag this over, and I'm kind of eyeballing it, but you could go and type in a value here. And once I'm happy with that, uh, that's, that's good to go. I'm going to switch over to the bottom face here, and I'm going to select some, uh, some faces uh, over here, and it doesn't matter if I pick an edge or anything like that, or even a vertice. Uh, but once I've got the, the faces there that, I, that I want there, uh, I'm actually going to go and use a, another command called subdivide so that I can go and create my finger grips a little bit easier. Because right now those the, the spaces that are there may not work nicely with uh, someone's hand. Okay, So I'm going to use the subdivide there. Uh, it's going to go and put in four faces for every face because it's dividing it by two and then by two again. Uh, I am going to use the exact mode here. Um, this is going to go and correct this. So if you kind of look right now, you can see this is a little bit deformed if I leave this as simple. And if I go to exact, then it goes and puts it back to the original shape. And in fact, it will take um, those uh, subdivides and put them all the way around the cylinder. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick my, my vertices. So I'm going to go and pick these guys here. So one, two, three, four for that. That should be pretty good. I'm not worrying about the thumb. Um, I'm going to go and click on the right side here, or the left side makes no difference. I'm going to grab my Edit Form tool here, and I can go and manipulate this and drag this down a little bit. So if I would like, I can, can just kind of freely eyeball it, or I can type in a certain value. So I'm going to actually type in an eighth of an inch here. And if that looks pretty good, then, then I'm good to go. I may go and take some other edges here, so I'm just going to grab some points uh, here, and I'm going to just smooth this out by dragging it down just a little bit. Apparently grab the rotate, let me just go like that, there we go, much nicer. So you can see that's starting to smooth out a little bit. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side here, so I'm going to grab those points. And this just kind of softens it a little bit, so it's a little bit nicer, and you can see it adds a little bit more of a curve, so it, it's really nice there. Uh, I'm going to grab some edges here, okay, and I'm just going to go and drag those up a little bit. Again, I'm just eyeballing it to kind of get a feel for it. And then on the uh, the two ends here, I'm going to just widen them a little bit just so that they are easier uh, for, for you to grab onto there. Okay, so something like this. And then I'm going to do something on this other side there. Same idea. Grab this one. Do my edit form. Drag this over just a tiny bit. And drag it down just a tiny bit like that. And now that I've got my, my handle the way that I want it, okay, 
what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and click on free, uh, finish freeform there, so it goes and changes it back to a solid. Uh, because this is going to be used as a handle, uh, I, I'm definitely going to want to have a cutout here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a 2D sketch, and I'm going to put it on the uh, XY plane here. I'm going to do the slice mode, which is F7, so I can see the inside of this. And I'm going to add in a circle, which is going to be a cutout for the uh, the, the actual bar that this would uh, go on. And a fairly standard size would be like 22 millimeters. Apparently I have caps lock on. Let me turn that off. There we go. 22 mil. Um, I'm going to finish the sketch there. And then I'm going to extrude this out uh, asymmetrically. So I'm going to use asymmetric. And this is going to allow me to go and cut out differently on both sides. Now the reason why I want to do that is so that I can cut out all the way through on this side, and I can go and cut out a certain amount on this side, leaving just a little bit of extra material here um, so the handle doesn't just you know slide right off. Okay, I'm going to hit OK there. Accept that. That looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to just clean this up a little bit by using the fillet command. So I'm going to put a fillet on the inside and on that one there. So it's, it's nice. Uh, I'm going to change it over to rubber. Okay, so I'm just going to go up here, change my material over to rubber. That uh, looks pretty decent if I look at it from both sides there. And if I needed to go back and make any changes to this, I can always go back to my form and edit it and tweak some stuff there. So let's say that I wanted to go and take this point, and maybe i got to drag it down a little bit more so I can go and do that. Finish the free form, and there we go. All right, so that's uh, that's it for today's video. Uh, I'm going to do a couple more videos, and, uh, and we'll see how those ones go. So thank you very much for your time, guys, and uh, take care.